Squad Radio, the music you want. With your host, Steve Dan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Famous? It's an extension of the internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com. Check availability, get a free price quote, and maybe you can have little old me at your event. You know, as yeah, I've been doing a lot of weddings lately. <laughs> Wedding season never ends, and I like it. I like it so much. Been doing a lot of karaoke shows, uh, video dance parties. You know, I, I have a karaoke show. Oh, yeah, this week uh, my shows are at the the uh let's see at the old post barbecue in russellville arkansas from six to nine that's family friendly they got great barbecue and they got frosty uh, beverages for the adults you know if in case you want to imbibe do so that's from six to nine on thursdays and then on friday i'm at the rab my regular friday night show is at the rab in conway arkansas that starts at eight o'clock that's a an over 21 show they got a full bar they got the kitchen open they got pool tables and uh well i think very sadly this might be the last time at the rab for a little while i think they're going to expand expand the the pool table and become just a pool hall uh you know like uh, expand the pool hall business so i think this will be the last karaoke show for a little while at the rab in conway arkansas so come on out and say goodbye to karaoke at the rab and today on the program i'm kind of excited about this you know when i i booked him last week it's a uh, he said, this could get interesting or I, I might be in trouble. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember how he worded it, but uh, he said, I'm, I might be in for something. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. His Instagram uh, handle is hell blinging and uh, his Instagram name is J.D. Pike. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it uh, with J.D. Pike calling J.D. Pike now. Hi, J.D. Pike, please. Oh, it's me. Hi, Hell, bl- <laughs> hell Blinging? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Keys Dan with the What Makes You Famous podcast. How's your day, my man? Uh, pretty good. It's been great. Yeah. So you said I was in for uh, some kind of a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> I might have been drinking. I don't know. <laughs> well, hey, you know, a lot of great American stories or even... Uh, let, let's pose that worldwide story started bit started with hey i might have been drinking i don't know <laughs> <It's> true <Yeah. laughs> i don't remember exactly so. what happened but <laughs> do you uh do you watch drunk history ever you know i i've heard of it but i i need to, i think it's on my it must be on my netflix uh queue if if it's on netflix because i i've heard of it and i, I need to watch it I, i've heard it's good things tell me about brilliant. it. brilliant uh it's brilliant absolutely brilliant um my favorite episode was uh the harriet tubman yeah episode where um she was just in a movie called ma uh can't think of her name right now <laughs> okay uh but she played harriet tubman was and you know the drunk people dub the voices over. Oh yes, it's cartoons. So it's not cartoons. No, okay. Uh, it's live actors. Okay. Uh, and you know they're drunk, so the character ends <laughs> up burping a lot and saying crazy things like, "Where was that? Oh, I need another drink." And then yeah, it's just funny. You'd, you'd love it, I think. Well, it's a Comedy Central thing, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's something I need to check out. Uh, so t- tell me a little bit more about you. G- give me oh, the gosh. blurb. Give me the bio on J.D. Pike. Uh, I grew up on a road called T. Pike. What? In- <laughs> Where would that be? Uh, it is in uh, Mason County, Kentucky. Mason uh, County, Kentucky. That sounds sounds small. 
Sounds like Duke uh, boys. It is. Sounds it like uh, kind of you know a, people with uh, a lot of Confederate flags and uh, and, and uh, muscle cards. There's that element, and then there's a very artistic element there as well. Okay, I can dig it. Um, you know, it's a kind of eccentric subset of the of the population. Eccentric which of is I good. Was drawn to as a as a young you know person of sixteen, thirteen. <laughs> I, I, I I never knew the the difference between eccentric and crazy. Well, in the South, we put crazy on the front porch, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't we ain't no shame in that, you know. So, <laughs> all right, uh, it, 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 you know, I very cultural for a small town. They're they're very interesting people there. Okay, cultural. How so? Uh, well, Rosemary Clooney and was. Lived there briefly as a child. Uh, George Clooney grew up just up the river in a small town called Augusta. I was waiting for that name because I know they were um, kin. Uh, he was, were kin she was her aunt or something like that. His aunt? Yeah. Yes, she was his aunt. Uh, her brother, uh, Nick Clooney, was a TV man in Cincinnati and the local news. And then Dang I think it. did a, a stint on TCM. What's TCM? Uh, Turner Classic Movie. Okay, okay. In the movies or, like, or behind the scenes, maybe? He was a host. You know, he would introduce films and... I like Early that. on. All right, yeah, so the so, Clooney's are, are big in the South, in Kentucky. Oh, yeah. In Mason, Kentucky, particular. Mason County, yes. Mason County. So I grew up in Maysville, went to Catholic school for 12 years. Catholic school. Man, uh, I did that for six church. years. Every day of my life for eight years. <laughs> yes, I remember. Did you now? Did you get taught by nuns? Because I I remember we had regular teachers for the most part, but we had a nun principal. We had a nun every. We had a nun in like first grade, and fourth grade, and in eighth grade. Right. And then there was a nun that was the principal of our high school, right. and a nun that was the principal of the grade school. It was all in one building, but. I think I went uh, second through sixth grade, and I remember sixth grade sex education was very <laughs> awkward. We were learning from a priest who supposedly had never had sex, uh, and and we were trying to learn the birds and the bees from him. Uh, yeah, that's that's a weird thing. <laughs> I <laughs> I you know didn't learn shit. Yeah, and I remember uh, it was a mystery. It's a it mystery. Was a mystery. It Everything's was a, like, a mystery. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. A any questions? Hey, uh, how, if God is all powerful, can He make a rock that He cannot lift? Oh, it's a mystery, son. It's a mystery. <laughs> don't ask those kind of questions. It's it's mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, you still Catholic? Oh no. All right. Just enough to mess you up for the rest of your life. <laughs> exactly. But. I have a theory that if you can survive Catholic school in any increment, um, no matter how long you went, you but, should be able to do anything, nothing. I mean, the level of mind manipulation and uh, <laughs> just, just like, you know, it was like um, being in 1984, the book, you know, they just knew what you were doing at all times somehow, probably because of the small town. Everybody talked, but yes. But in the end, are, do you become Winston and say, "I love you, Big Brother"? No. <laughs> <laughs> I I got. Uh, we had a teacher that was not Catholic, and she was. Um, I don't, you know, Presbyterian. I don't know something. Right. Uh, another religion. Sure. Something close, uh, but not quite. And I was very curious, so I ended up going to like different churches in Maysville, like the Holy Roller churches I would go to. And I just wanted to experience something that wasn't so sterile and formal. I, I feel Which, like we've been on, on similar paths, J.D. Pike. I, I've really? been to the Baptist church, a Jehovah's Witness, uh, dated a, a girl who was a, a Jewish and went to her synagogue and, you know, ran the gambit, ran the gambit and, and, and learned a lot about, wait, a little bit about a lot of things. Nothing yeah. that really stuck. Uh, 
I think it's all a sham. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Pike, you may be right, I, man. I you may be right. It just be something to keep us in line. Yes, yes. And as long as you live your life right, you know, try to be a good person, smile at people and uh, treat them right. Uh, golden rule. Uh, it, maybe that there, is, if there was anything that I took away from any church ever, golden rule. Uh, I agree. You know, love I thy agree. neighbor, that kind of thing. And And then you learn that, you know, that – that doesn't happen in the real world. No, but you still try. <laughs> but you you try. cannot give and up. Uh, people are generally really nice like, people, I think. Uh, I, what's your I view? Um, I've seen some crazy shit. Yes, uh, <laughs> there's crazy. You said you put it on but, the front porch, man. I know, I know. We, <laughs> we advertise. Um, <laughs> are you still in Kentucky? I do. I live in Covington, Kentucky. Covington, Kentucky. Slightly with, bigger town? Yeah, a little bit bigger than Maysville. Okay. Um, and part of the whole Cincinnati, Newport, Covington, kind of one big metropolitan area. All so. right. So close to Ohio. So when you go for yeah. fun, you say, let's go to Cincinnati. Yeah, I work there. It's like a mile away from my house. So. Okay. All right. See, I, I don't yeah. know geography that well. And you're teaching me a little geography yeah. here in this podcast, well, J.D. Pike. <laughs> <laughs> getting to know you <laughs> and, and i know i found you on the instagram you're 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 full of memes a lot of memes man oh, i have no oh, I, yeah. really no idea how, what you really look like and who you really are uh, i don't yeah i'm a mystery wrapped in an enigma <laughs> <laughs> i think i've heard that line in a movie somewhere i don't my, remember. Uh, my real name is uh john helbling h-e-l-b-l-i-n-g all right, then that's where we could find you, right? Yes. Uh, J-O-H-N? Yes. H-U-B? H- no, I'm sorry. H-E. Uh-huh. L. L. <laughs> B-L-I-N-G. B-L-I-N-G. Oh, and that's where you get the hell bling. Yep. No, no one ever kidding. can spell it. No one can. Yeah. So I just, and I, I used to do, uh, I would record deeds and stuff at the uh, courthouse, and one of the women started calling me bling bling. <laughs> and I just said, well, I think I'll make my Instagram hell blinging. Yeah, and that worked out just fine. It's your name, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, excellent news. Okay, and okay, I'm looking at, lives in Cincinnati. Oh, that's close, right? Oh, yeah, it's. I can see it from my front porch. So I, I think I found your Instagram. It's it's you and a a, a lady and a kid. Uh, yeah, actually, that the lady is me as well as the, it's Elvis. <laughs> okay. My head has been one of those things like you stick it. Uh, it was in Tucson. My nephew lives there. My sister and my dad, uh, and we were just out goofing around, and I got in that thing and. No, I, th- I think yeah, I think I'm looking at he a different picture. Maryland. I'm looking yeah. at one that's uh, oh. on a beach. Uh, John Hebling, Hebling, that's on a beach, and then there's one that's in Arkansas as well. So I'm trying to find oh, you yeah. on the on the Facebook and and uh, maybe oh, I don't even I don't I gave up Facebook a long oh, time ago. Oh well, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, I uh, I had to just get rid of that. It was driving me nuts. I believe it. I believe it. And, and a lot of people have been cutting down. Uh, you know, I, I'm down to four social media with the Instagram, the Twitter, and the Facebook, and the YouTube. Uh, I've cut I it I down. I still have a, a, a MySpace page. I still have 11,000 <laughs> friends on MySpace. You're right. You busted me. And, uh... I'm not giving it up. <laughs> now, if I can remember my password. Hmm. Oh my God! Yeah, but I that yeah was like I, I, ten I, years ago. I think Justin Timberlake still owns a piece of that. Oh wow! It's <laughs> crazy, crazy how technology is taking over. All and, right. Well, I still just, don't know what you look like, John Helbling. Um, I'm I'm on the I'm I'm down there. I, I put some posts up. We had a downpour recently, uh, and all these pipes were exploding right outside the building. What? <laughs> and uh, I. I kind of coined it, it's a poor man's Las Vegas in this alley because <laughs> it looked like fountains. And uh, there's a picture of me 
pretending to drink from one of the shooting geysers coming off the <laughs> side of a building. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're painting a picture. Whether I, I've seen yes. your face, whether I've seen that picture, I mean, that, that, that picture that you're describing, uh, I, you're painting a little bit of what happened. It, it kind of sums up my, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a jokester, I think. I, don't, I like to laugh. I like to have fun. Yeah, well, you're making me laugh, bro, and I like Good. it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. So, all right, so you work in the big city. You work in Cincinnati. I'm you have fun in Cincinnati. City. What's it? I work in the big bad city. Big bad city. Okay, <laughs> expound. How so? <laughs> uh, I work in the Inquirer building uh, what? in a in a law firm. Okay. Um, okay. Kind of a you know nine to fiver. I can dig. Um, See, and there, there's another thing. There's there's a John K. Helbling, uh, a Little Rock, Arkansas lawyer. <laughs> well, there's a lawyer here in town. It's my cousin who has the same name, John Helbling. How? I he never happen? knew. <laughs> well, you run out of names in a big family, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone named John. Okay, we're all John. Hey, I guess it's different than a than an Italian family where everybody's Pete or Tony. Yeah. I, kind of, I guess. Although I have an uncle Tony, he is John's father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 John Hebling, his yeah. name is my name too. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> I'm going to use that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whenever we go out. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, uh, you, you're so you're a lawyer. No, no, no. I'm just uh, an assistant. The man's an assistant. I'm way, I'm way too honest to be a lawyer. A, a liar. Li- liar? I, I, how do they pronounce that? Liar? Liar? Or, uh, attorney. Uh, attorney. <laughs> there you go. That makes a whole lot more sense because, uh, yeah, I've heard it both ways. <laughs> Several but, ways. Uh, I worked with a lot of good people, though, actually. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I imagine that, that people that get into the law are trying to do good things, at least yeah. at first, man. You, you don't get into the law because you, you want to do bad things. You want to help no. people. You, you do. You're you want to people. make a lot of money, which is awesome. Yes, there is you know, that. Possible. I mean, are you but heading yeah. that way, or did, did, did you want to be a lawyer? An attorney? Oh, no. No, 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 no. What do you want to be just, when you grow uh, up? I, I still haven't grown up. And uh, All right. <laughs> See, I don't even know how I, old I'm, you are. Uh, when, when did you graduate high school? Uh, 1987. 87, man. I'm class of 86, man. Class of 86 rules. Yeah. All right. So we're about yeah, the same was, age. I'm 50. Uh, yeah. I will be 50 in November. Hey, so. happy birthday in advance. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> and to you as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm 50. <laughs> I can kick and stretch and kick. I'm 50. <laughs> this is a great year. I started a podcast officially. This year, you know, because I, I've been doing radio since 86, but, uh, you know, I, I, I figured, you know, I've been talking to people long enough. Let's start a podcast. Let's let's make it official. What makes you You're famous? very, uh, it's very natural. You're it's very good. I was listening to Danny Snyder. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Interview. It was, I was a little nervous. I was like, I don't know. You know, what am I going to say? But, uh, yeah, very cool podcast yeah i, I treat it all the way through it it's conversation man i'm getting to know you jd pike uh, john yeah. helbling and uh, yeah. you can tell the people whatever you want them to know about you it, yeah, it, wow. it, it becomes a, a social thing uh, wh- yeah. how did you grow up uh, let's see in catholic school uh, what kind of extracurriculars do you have there uh I, well i grew up on a farm farm uh we had uh dairy cattle in the early 70s that's cool <laughs> Uh, and I used to play around in the barn and inevitably step in some cow crap. Believe it. <laughs> Believe it. That that does happen. Uh, I jumped out of the back of the barn once. And my dad was like, stop, <laughs> as I was flying through the air. Well, that was back when we used to be able to uh, sit in the back of pickup trucks with no oh, yeah. no seat belts and and go ri- hay rides and yeah no seat belt. I would go from the front to the back seat with a bag of M and M's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Dad, no uh, tell me a story. Well, hand me one of those beers out of that cooler, and I'll tell you. <laughs> cup holder? No, yeah, I got a cup holder. It's right here between my legs. I yeah, just kind of exactly. hold that while I drive the car with my uh, knee. <laughs> 
I had an aunt that got pulled over once with the, while drinking a beer. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the way to Lexington to go shopping. Well, back in the with, 70s, it used to be, uh, hey, have you been drinking? Oh, uh, yes, officer, I have. Well, drive straight home, okay? Yeah, we'll follow you a little bit. <laughs> Make sure you get back. Yeah, well, you you just drive straight home, okay? Uh, get, you know, <laughs> don't go uh, carousing tonight. <laughs> well, she got pulled over. The cop said, "Man, are you drinking?" She's like, "Well, it's just a beer." Yeah, it's just a beer, <laughs> officer. My license yeah. can't be suspended. I don't have one. My sister told me that story. She's uh, fourteen years older than me. Okay, and uh, I was kind of like one of those accidental Catholic babies. Yeah. That came along later in life. My mom was 40 when she had me. Okay, so how many in the family? Kids? Uh, I have an older brother, Tom. Yes. Uh, My sister, Sarah. Yes. And her son, Al. Mm -hmm. And my brother has two daughters, uh, Jessica and Dee Dee. Okay, so we got a good sized family, not a not quite yeah. the Catholic, gigantic, you know, be fruitful and multiply family. No, but but there pretty were, big. There were families that had a kid in every grade, right? <laughs> Literally, right. <laughs> I remember those. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, so, what do your mom and dad do for fun? Don't answer well, that. Man, Don't uh, answer that. No, <laughs> to those kids. <laughs> my mom uh, passed away in ninety two. Oh, God bless. Okay. Um, and my dad is still living his best life at 92 years yes. old, Man. um, had a stroke in my, uh, it was about 10 years ago now, wow. uh, in 2010, February, he had a stroke. Wow. Um, I nursed him back to health. Yeah. Um, he couldn't get out of bed. And so I called a friend of mine who had worked with the, um, mentally handicapped, Right. I guess that's the appropriate way to say that. Uh, I guess, I guess, yeah. It's it's hard um, with the PC term. Special needs, I think, is probably more. All right. Know. But anyway, they're hilarious, and um, <laughs> uh, he uh, helped me get my dad back on his feet. Yeah. He stayed, I took off five work or five weeks from work, and you know it was the best thing I've done in my life. I think. I believe that, man. <laughs> You, you I'm gonna know, get a little you, emotional here. I, uh, <laughs> it's just it, it, really good memories, um, even as terrifying as so, the whole thing was. How's Dad so, doing right now? He's he is he's going to live to be 110. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have a grandma. Uh, I guess she's 90. She's going to outlive us all. I mean, out gardening, still driving. You know, yeah. Uh, oh, that's excellent, man. Yeah. He's, he's in a wheelchair, and my sister and my nephew take excellent care of him. Oh, how beautiful is that? How yeah, beautiful. he always wanted to live there, and she decided to have him come live there about five years ago. So, so wait, is that you, the Helbling Law Firm? Uh, no, that's my cousin. That's John. your cousin? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at him. Okay, cousin John. <laughs> he looks good. He says he's, you're, Yeah, he's Italian. Yeah. You're David Mom, uh, against the world's Goliaths. Yeah, he's a good-looking dude sitting there on the front cover of his website. Yeah. Yeah. He's okay. got gray hair. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pompadour. It just naturally grew out of the top. Okay. I think you mentioned Elvis a little earlier. and Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, got that look. And, and, and being in, look. in Kentucky, you, you're not far away from Graceland. I've been there many times myself. <laughs> Oh gosh, I've never been. What? I, I, I drove through Memphis one time in 1997, taking a, a friend of mine to move to Rancho Cucamonga, California. And you didn't even pass by Graceland. <sighs> no, we were like booking to get out there. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I believe and it. And it kind of was a rainy day, and so we just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. So I still don't have a picture of you, John Helbling. I got your. I got a picture of you, cuz. Uh oh. I'll, I'll post one, and then you can. Good. That way, I can steal can it for for the uh, for the podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There you are. I, I I went way down. I had to go yeah. for. Let's see. November of 2018. Still got the little little uh, salt and pepper beard going on yeah, with the glasses. Yeah. That's me. Ah, he's a good-looking dude. I got a half a face. It says, uh, watch your step, whatever you were sitting in front of. 
uh, on your Instagram there. All right. What? Good looking what? dude. Oh, okay. And there's a little further down. There's you and a and a lady. Uh, you got a blue shirt on, and you got the nice little beard with the with the glasses. Yeah, you're a good looking kid, man. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, for thank sure, you. for sure. <laughs> I'm stalking your Instagram, and I'm I'm letting people know <laughs> how to get a hold of JD Pike, uh, the All hell right. hell blinger, <laughs> John Hellbling. That that's a great name, man. Uh, and, and hell blinging is just a great what a great handle. <laughs> it, it just made sense. <laughs> So I've been called that all my life. Hell blinging, hell heffling. Heffling. Yeah, I could heffling see it. is a good one. I could see it. I could see it. You're like, uh, that's a B, sir. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend Alicia's grandmother always called me. That heffling boy is so nice. <laughs> and you are and, so nice, man. <laughs> I'm having a good time with you. We would laugh at her. Because she didn't say Kmart either. What, what did she say? Kmar, Kmar. Kmar. Spanish people do that. I'm from Miami, so I I had a lot of Kmar, and uh, huh. no, it's not KFC or Kentucky Fried Chicken. Welcome to the Colonel. Oh, okay, all uh, right, McDonough. Well, it's McDonough <laughs> with a Pepsi. Mm. You're making uh, me want Indian food. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had Indian food, and it sounds what? hot. It's, it, it's yeah. I I really like spicy food. Like I like to be in a mild amount of pain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to work that hard. <laughs> or or <laughs> it's not hot enough. And I, I don't even go for like a, yeah, a medium amount of pain. Yeah, I think fire sauce at the uh, Taco Bell is probably as hard as I go. Ooh. And it's and it's nothing. You can just drink that stuff, really. No, yeah, I that would be yeah, like a mild. It is. It really is. <laughs> it really is. And I've heard nothing but, yes, I, I think I dated an Indian girl, and maybe I've had something with curry in it. And curry's curry's pretty spicy, right? Yeah, yeah. I just had some curry on uh, something I made last night, and I really caked it on. Ah, <laughs> I like it. I like so, it. So, yeah, I like to burst out and sweat while I'm eating. <laughs> it's a little workout <laughs> while yeah. you're eating. You're getting your you're getting your uh, your cardio in, <laughs> or your, your what is it, the hot box or no uh, steam room or, or what do they call that a sauna? Oh, like the lodge, like the smoke lodge, like the you're doing some sauna room. work there. Yeah, it's now, my own sauna. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, yes, okay. You're making me laugh. I like it. I like it. All right, I finally got a, a got to see a picture of you, and now I have a little more. I feel like a, a little more personal with you because because you got to see somebody's face before you talk yeah. to, talk to them and, yeah. and 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 I know this is a audio and and it's a podcast and people are going to be uh, looking at your Instagram and trying to find out hey where's that picture that he was talking about oh yeah there's wow. the half a face oh there he is with the girl and <laughs> and the nice lady I don't even know who the lady is but seems like it's family and it might be the sister a- that you were talking about oh yeah there's lots of her blonde short hair mm. uh, possibly possibly we eat a lot of sushi when i'm in tucson uh okay so so the family got <laughs> spread out then yeah yeah um my sister sarah moved uh to arizona in i think 78 oh. 77 somewhere around there wow okay all right so you've been been kind of did, did you end up being an only child by the by the time you graduated yeah yeah, because yeah. all the actually by the time I was around like ten, they were you know they came in and out. I, my brother came back and worked with us for a couple of years. Right. What kind I of work? From second or third grade, huh? Well, oh, the, with the law firm. Oh no, this is uh, back on the farm. Back, back on, the, on farm. the farm. So yeah, tell me more was, about this farming growing up. J.D. Pike, oh, John Helbling. It, it was the best thing ever. I would uh, uh, there was a creek that ran all the way around the perimeter of, of the farm yeah, and I could go down, I could go out the front door, climb down this hill and I would track around the entire perimeter of the farm. Usually, you know, a buddy or somebody I'd spend in the night and we would spend all day like outside yeah, climbing trees. And, uh, it was great. Yeah. I miss it. I, I really want to, I, I hated it when I was growing up there you know, when you're like late teens, sure. <laughs> I was like, I want to get out of here. 
<laughs> no, no. But when you're a kid, you go outside yeah. and play. How did how did our generation of people that went outside to play never went home on a Saturday? Uh, you know, yeah. you left the house early in the morning on your bike, <laughs> and, and then you got home. You know, when the street lights finally came on, if there was any street lights, because if you're out in the farm, there probably weren't. Maybe yeah, maybe one dark. street light, and it was and it's dark. But you get home before dark. And, and how did we? get to, to be no we we survived but yeah. then our kids they they don't even go out they don't go outside no. they don't go play go out yeah my nephew was a tv watcher and a gamer you know when he was younger and uh yeah i got a stack of I was video game systems here while. yeah tell me about the cuz <laughs> or nephew uh, tell me oh he's he's awesome uh i am gay yes and um my sister, I told her when I was younger, uh, he calls me his big gay dad. <laughs> okay. So, hey, all right. So, and, uh, so, okay, go ahead. Uh, oh, if you had a question. Uh, no, no, no. So, so tell me about the, the nephew, big, big yeah, gay just, dad. I, I, you know, I tried to spend as much time with them as I could. I, I go out there at least twice a year and, um, it's just, it's just good. Yeah, he he didn't have a, the greatest of fathers. He didn't stay around very long. And oh. my sister really stepped up, and my father helped, and I'm help. You know, we all helped together. It was it was yeah really good. Yeah, yeah. And, so okay, and there very, she is with the uh, blonde hair. I see her. Yeah, I think he was a maybe in eighth grade, and he overheard somebody talking about fags and. Um, he got so mad, he <laughs> he charged this guy and pushed him on the ground and sat on him and was like, don't you ever say that again. <laughs> okay. Somebody, somebody I love is gay. And, you know, I when my sister told me that, I was like, man, that is <laughs> unbelievable. And I'm calling him immediately and telling him how proud I am. Yeah. So he took it real personally. So, that's uh, that's did, that's and, good. Yeah, uh, I, I grew up in Miami in the Florida Keys, and we had all kinds. And yeah, yeah, uh, we picked on each other. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I called him fag. He called me spick. You know what? <laughs> what, what you gonna do? You know, I'm, I'm half Cuban, uh, I'm half Irish, and and uh, uh, you know maybe I'm half Italian. That's three halves. I'm a pretty fat guy. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm a little bit Irish and a little bit German. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. Helbling, I guess, is pretty. Uh, oh, you know what you should Google? Please. I like Googling. Uh, Google, <laughs> if you will. Yeah, check out uh, his Google. Hel- no, I, don't, I think that means Helbling, something else. <laughs> uh, the Helbling House. Okay. It's in uh, Innsbruck, Austria. All right. And it's really, it's this ornate kind of like, I don't know. Baroque architectural I'm style. Looking? It's pretty it's cool. cool. It I is, would love to go there. Is that part of your family, you think? Possibly some, you know, distant branch. Yeah, they, got a, me to they the, got a whole Wikipedia land. page. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool, man. It, that, uh, yeah. That's one of those things that looks like it was built way back in, in the blah, blah, blahs. Yeah, Let's like, see, what year? Uh, let's see, Friedrich Seven. Strauss. Oh my goodness! Seventeen hundreds, maybe. Uh, I. It was eight early eighteenth century. Wow, that's great! Ooh. Oh, those wow. are decorations added, all from Austria. It's kind of like a giant cake. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool, and it's got your name yeah. on it, man. You definitely. Oh, it was built in the fifteenth century. But evolved Holy, significantly. Wow, that's old. But evolved significantly <laughs> with the new architectural styles. Yeah, they they built them to last well, back a, then. Yeah, they oh. did. They yeah, did. they did. And, I and, live in an old house right now, like yeah. an old. What's old in America? Yeah, eighteen fifty. Eighteen fifty. Ah, that's a yeah. little. That's a little kid home. That's kind a of, yeah. It's, a, it's adolescent. <laughs> It's a starter. It's, it's, it's no, it's a, it's adolescent. It's the you know, grand you tell that to the Europeans, and they go, "Oh, 1850 isn't that nice? Isn't isn't really? that sweet?" It's it's uh, yeah. 
I, I went to England in 92, right oh. before my, my mother passed, and uh, oh. spent five weeks. And that was amazing. Wait Castle a minute, this is and, after she passed? Uh, it was the summer before. She passed um, in late August. And I oh, was so you there got to travel July. a bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Tell me about England and the uh, mama. It was great. It was great. Uh, it was five weeks of, uh, of an art history kind of a class. And we. Um, <clears throat> I also have a BFA in graphic design. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What'd you do with that? Uh, I actually worked for uh, a furniture company. I don't know if you've heard of Valley City Furniture. I have not. Uh, there, there are a few left here in the area, but I did their floored lamps and propped up their, you know, tchotchkes and <laughs> Wicked made everything cool. look great. Yeah, so I, I used it in more of a three dimensional. Sure. So uh, a little bit of design realm. All right. What was that? Uh, you said uh, you said graphic design. Yeah, yeah, graphic design, fine art, uh, and fine art. Uh, but you used it mostly Kentucky. in in maybe decorating. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So you kind of parlayed it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of telling this backwards because actually, the one of my first jobs I had a job as a tour guide in Washington, Kentucky, which is a little cove of like. Uh, some cabins that they rebuilt. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what what you would tour in in Podunk, Kentucky. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a yeah, tour so guide. In a cabin. Here's um, here's a cheese. cabin. Here's some wood. <laughs> uh, go shuck that corn over there or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, milk that cow. There's my tour. Yeah. <laughs> so what oh. what kind of tour did you do? Oh, I would just take them up and down the street and be like, you know, this is a row house from some <laughs> era. And take- over here, Davy <laughs> Crockett was put in jail. Okay, okay, there was some and, um, historical fact uh, or factors yeah. to this because I, th- and I he, when he, he said- would forget about half of what I was supposed to say. Because <laughs> when you said, you know, I walked it up, walked him up and down the street, you know, just some random <laughs> uh, Sycamore Street, you know, and and this is Jimmy's well, house. Who's there's Jimmy? Only one I don't street. know. That's only, yeah, and it's got one traffic light. It doesn't really work that well. <laughs> it's a four way stop, really. <laughs> but yeah, it, it would draw a crowd. They have a, like a asparagus festival what? and a uh, asparagus. <laughs> festival. So, so the pee pee stinks really bad here. Yeah, and they, I think they have a strawberry one now, or maybe a pumpkin. Okay, you know, small towns. We get together, and this is where Doc Hollywood. Uh, crashed his car, isn't it? Isn't this, I have no idea. Isn't this where where Michael J. Fox was? You know, oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on the way to Hollywood, and he crashed his car here in in uh, Mason, Kentucky, <laughs> and uh, and your your judge made him do doctor work. Is that is that the, you're you're just describing the plot to Doc Hollywood, right? And the subplot was they had a a, a squash festival. <laughs> He got me. <laughs> <laughs> he is the one and only. <laughs> but uh, after that job, I got a job decorating the windows at a department store in Maysville, okay. which I was horrible at like the first month. All right. Now we're going and, into uh, Mannequin. And that's kind of how I got on that artistic route of, uh, of uh, where I ended up at Value City. And then it was like, I was like getting older. I'm like 30, pushing 30. My my shoulders are hurting. I was like, I've got to stop this. Uh, okay. So I was like, I'm getting me an office job. Right. Nice sit yeah. down job. You, you got too much smarts to be doing all this physical labor. Yeah, it was fun. But uh, yeah, I was like, I, well, and my coworkers were like, I got to get my rotator cuff replaced. And <laughs> my <laughs> shoulder <laughs> wired back on to my brainstem. I don't know. I once had a sofa nearly fall on me, and it was like one of those domino things. What (laughs) are you doing in the front window of this store, man? (laughs) Well, no, I was was in the back where they were unpacking, and uh, somebody bumped one, and I could hear him like, book, book, book. I look up, and there's one like almost about to hit me, and (laughs) narrowly escaped with, you know, only minor bruising. Okay, okay. 
All right. <laughs> Hell blinging here. I am so random. No, no, I'm liking it, man. We're going all over the place. J.D. Pike, uh, John, hell bling, the hell yeah. blinging on the Instagram. Just uh, and, and That's me. I did find you, and you do have a lot of memes there. Uh, love is the drug is the, is the last oh. meme. Tell me about that. Yeah, I'm very, yeah, you know, the past couple of days with these shootings, yeah. I, uh, I just, uh, I, I thought we needed a little love out there <laughs> yeah. and I love Grace Jones. And, yeah. uh, so I was just jamming, listening to my iPad and put those up. Oh yeah. She pulls up to the bumper. It, it, I played that uh, so many times. I, 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 oh worked my God. A, I worked on a disco radio station. Well, it was, it was uh salsa merengue disco freestyle down in Miami and it was half English and half Perfect. Spanish. And we'd pull up to the bumper as often as possible. Uh, with, yeah. I listened to her coming home today from work. Oh, yeah. Grace <laughs> Jones, man. What a. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she was, was just touring. Where? What? She's still going? She Yeah, I think she's 60. Oh, I thought she was 100, man. No, 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 no. no. I, I thought she was 100 back in 86 when uh, she did A View to a Kill or 85. She is ageless. Yes, she is. <laughs> yeah. And, and you yeah. know, still as fierce as ever, like performance wise i believe it there's a guy i follow called terry top cat i think okay uh check him out t-e-r-r-y top cat okay t-e-r-y um, he posted a um a clip of her performing and uh, in london just very recently Okay, he's got a, a private account, but he looks like a pretty cool dude. Got the, the yeah, hat on with the, bu- with the bug eyes. Wild eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, that was the first thing I saw, hat and bug yeah. eyes. So, all right, Terry Topcat. Maybe I'll put a follow on him. Maybe he'll add me. Yeah. Maybe he won't. I, he'd probably be interesting. I can't, I can't really tell what his story is, but he must have had some 80s connections back with some bands, I guess, back oh, in the yeah. day, maybe. Yeah, I come from the 80s. I'm here to help. I yeah. know. You know, it, were <laughs> whenever, whenever I want to get that party set off, you know, the I'll say, hey, we're having a party this weekend. Oh, who's going to be there? Hitler. Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs> it's an 80s party. Oh, we'll go. We'll go. <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, that's the way to get them in there. You know, you start at the 80s. I, I get the DJ parties at least two, three times a week. You start You're with the 80s fun. and you work your way out. Oh, it is Sounds a lot like of fun. like a blast. You're doing what you love. It is a lot of fun. And, you know, I don't want to get a real job. I guess I have a real job, kind of. But You uh, know, you make your own real job. You know, anything that you like, you can make it into a job. Anything that you're yeah. interested in, you can make it into a job. You were, you were given tours in... Uh, I got to say, it's a tiny town, man. Giving Washington. tours of nothing, bro. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Davy Crockett took a dump over there. Really? It was kind of like that, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, I, I know when I was in Key West, they had a uh, a lot of, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, my goodness. Papa. What was his name? Oh, oh. Now, as I'm trying to tell the story, his name falls out of my head. Uh, writer. Oh, oh. Um, the cats with the five fingers. Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, key, oh my, Key West writer, and uh, and it's going to come up, and I'm going to go. Oh yeah, duh, Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, and 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 the tours in Key West are pretty much er- Ernest Hemingway got drunk over there, he fell down over there, he, <laughs> he lived over there, he stole a toilet from that place over there. It's in his backyard over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that, those are true stories. He he did but steal a toilet one time. How beautiful! It yes, must be there. <laughs> Key West I mean, is great, man. You're talking about <laughs> eclectic, and you're talking about uh, you know very diverse and and artistic. Yeah, Key West is the place to be. And I've been to I San Francisco. To Love San Francisco. I haven't been north, really too far north of the Mason Dixon. So I, I haven't made it to the village in New York, you know, and and, and this, these are the meccas I'm talking about. And yeah. yes, because you mentioned, uh, OK, you are a gay man. I get that. And we can delve into that if, if you have any if you want to be, uh, you know, give a, any info on that. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a part of me. It's just it's a like, part. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's not every it's not my entire identity. Exactly. It exactly. never was like. 
So anyway. Yeah. It's J.D. Pike. It's, uh, it's John Pike, he- yeah. Ebling, and uh, trying to be he mysterious. Happens to be gay. So, yeah. a- a- are are you dating? A- any a- any love in the in the Helbling? Oh yeah, I, uh, he is sitting right next to me right now. He just got home from work. Oh sweet! Has he been home the whole time? No, no. Oh not. okay. So has he said, so. John? What are you doing? <laughs> no, he knows I'm crazy, and he just. <laughs> ignores me he's, well, he's gonna be listening me. to this a little bit later and go yeah what are you doing I didn't tell him this was going on so he doesn't have a clue <laughs> <laughs> I, I do get people that that are that get excited from the beginning of the day or even from the time that i book them Ooh, put it on the calendar oh wow i'm so nervous about this <laughs> it's just a conversation i'm getting to I know you told one girl at work and and she's like oh my god have one. when's your interview and i was like well i'm not getting any job <laughs> she's ah. like no that guy that's gonna call you <laughs> <laughs> that guy oh yeah 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 it'll be it'll be after work yeah relax and stuff so so good you got a home life that's good you got some yeah. love and and yeah. that's a wonderful thing man it's and uh, paul and i met in 1994 so wow that's <laughs> you got staying power bro yeah that's fantastic it's good to have a long long-term yeah. relationship man it really is it really is are you married did you did you make the plunge i would never ever get married what? i didn't i didn't care about being legally able to marry or not i just find it you know kind of an old concept i got you i got you yeah, i mean at least uh, <laughs> and i really want to be an outsider well at least get bound to where you know if one of you passes god forbid you know the other one well, is taken yeah, care yeah. of you know you're, that's true what was it the domestic uh rela- relationship or whatever it is that that at least Luckily, you, i know a lawyer for that hey <laughs> i'm sure you do and it all comes back around yeah. <laughs> and he grew up with me in maysville so helbling law office llc <laughs> so okay uh, you're working for a totally different lawyer though oh yeah yeah okay now how, how come you didn't hook up with the cuz um, I don't think we work well together. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like family, family to me right there. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like family. You can't get, get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We, we're, we're like a, a big personalities and kind of, we need our space. <laughs> Understood. All right. So yeah. the Helblings are big personalities and that's a, yeah, and he's kind of a, he's a sole practitioner and has done really well just working out of his house. Okay, now, so, uh, sole practitioner, th- is that a uh, defense attorney or? <coughs> uh, what, pardon me. Um, what kind of law? Just, you know, you hang up a little sign. Yeah, you put like, a little, hey, uh, 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 what is it, uh, uh, a shingle. You put a shingle well, outside. Yes. Yeah. That's the word. Uh, yeah, so he, he worked for a couple of firms, but then just went off on his own. Dig it. Dig it. Very so, into, like, uh, civil rights and, um, okay. you know, argued some cases against some police activity that was probably not correct. <laughs> well, that sounds exciting. If you want you know, to expound on ending that. Ending in death and injury and that sort of thing. I mean, we can so, always throw in allegedly on the, on the front of this. Allegedly. Oh, yeah, allegedly. Everything that we're saying now is allegedly. <sighs> Everything is alleged. <laughs> <laughs> I allegedly was a tour guide. <laughs> right. Allegedly. <laughs> Because we could be making this whole thing up. Maybe it's not real. Maybe none of this is real. Don't even get me started on the Matrix. I'm started. I've, I've just started you up. Go ahead. Take the red pill or the blue pill. Which one? Oh, God. I think I don't know. I would take them both because I'm <laughs> a druggie. Then, then you'd have some kind of Timothy Leary experience going on. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> the psilocybin. Have you heard about, speaking of. Timothy Leary. There's a place here in Kentucky called IaQuest. Okay. And they give you, uh, are you familiar with ayahuasca? I am familiar. I've never done it. Uh, You know, I do listen to the You Made It Weird uh, podcast and Rogan and all those others, but yeah, that have have done these things. Tell me your experience. Well, I have not done it. Okay. (laughs) But I plan on it. And uh, there's a place here in Kentucky now that you can go and they take you on a vision quest type of a thing. 
it's very uh it's you know you're supervised it's very safe it was on uh it's on a, it was a show ayahuasca yeah kentucky ayahuasca was the name of the show okay i'm told that um, you have to take to to do it with someone you cannot yeah. go off on your own no it's kind of they take you in a house and you, it's very comfortable there's mats and stuff you lay down on and they explain to you what it, could, what it might be like and it was a great show and it just helped a lot of people like come to terms with really intense inner demons, Ooh. you know, uh, abuse and a myriad of, you can imagine the worst possible things that could happen to people. They are using this now to, uh, have breakthroughs and heal from emotional trauma. So how did you, hear about this place uh, do you know anybody who's done it uh no i was just watching i did i happened to see it I, you know in the 90s i read all those books you know like fear and loathing in las vegas and right saw the I've movie been fascinated with the doors of perception and uh part of the whole 90s spirituality okay throw back to the 60s kind of vibe i don't know that was going on here <laughs> Well, I'm sure it was going on everywhere. Usually, in, yeah. in every 20 years, things seem to to cycle. Uh, yeah. There's nothing new. Everything's Under been, the- you know, yeah. Uh, 20 years from now, we'll, they'll be wearing the same clothes we're wearing. They'll be now. retro, retro back. You got it right. You got it right. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that that's just interesting to me. Uh, you should investigate that up here. Yeah, so is that something that you're client. planning to do real soon? And the guy that, um, oh, no, no, not real soon. But what? Within a year or two. Yeah, what does your boss say about that? Uh, they don't need to know that. <laughs> well, I mean, because usually, you, usually there's some kind of policy put in place uh, at, at, at some kind of a, in a corporation where, all right, I know it's legal, but you really can't. Don't use that Luckily, CBD oil because there might be some HTC in there. <laughs> Luckily, that's I, I've never had that problem. Good, good. So the, the, you uh, got some pretty liberal guys you're working with, then? I, I, yeah, I think so. It must be just in that industry. But yeah, I worked for Value City Furniture. I had to be drug tested all the time. Sure. Uh, and attorneys are just like, yeah, we're not wow. going to go there if you can show up. And okay. Do <laughs> you yeah. Know what I mean? Okay. I'm, like, I'm seeing kind of the underlying are, is where maybe. They don't want to interfere with your rights, is yeah, what is why so. they're doing that. I think so. That's like, possible. And and your cousin being into the the civil rights or or uh, what is it? Uh, is that is that what you said? Civil rights. Yeah, yeah. And maybe constitutional he, law. And, so what kind of law are you? Or is your firm dealing with? It's mostly uh, insurance liability okay. stuff. So like uh, like fraud. Uh, more like, you know, accidents, um, gotcha. malfunctioning things that might have been installed in a hospital or. Okay. Like, that uh, sort of thing. do Shorting surgery out. on this arm, not this arm. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of that. Most of our stuff is like, uh, has to do with like mechanical things. Okay. Yeah. I got or, in a motorcycle yeah. wreck back in 87. And uh, oh god! If I didn't have a lawyer, I, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have had the uh, the insurance money. So thank you. Thank uh, God you survived. Yes, me too. Me too. I I heard I died for a little bit. Uh, I remember Yay. I remember hit, hitting the car. They ran a, a stop line a stop sign in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, I hit the car. I passed out, and then I woke up in the helicopter, and then I woke up in the in the hospital. So yeah, and you you were clinically. Um, From what I I've heard that my heart stopped maybe, but wow. I mean that that could be just rumor. Uh, but uh, I never rode a motorcycle again, not not officially, uh, not wow. my own. I, I think I did a a remote with a a uh, at a motorcycle place with the radio station, and they had me ride it, you know, ride a motorbike down the parking lot so they could take pictures of me while I was, wow. you know, for the, was that hard for you? It kind of was, but it was a cam spider, so it was a three wheeler. So, I, I, oh yeah, yeah, I, I could even do that. I felt a little <laughs> bit better about it, yeah. And I think I did dirt bikes in uh, in California uh, back in uh, two thousand one or two. But that's it. That that's all I've been since eighty seven. I haven't gotten a, gotten another bike, and 
And hey, I'm not going to tell you don't ride a bike. I'm just saying they dangerous. <laughs> I they terrify me. Yeah. Even when I see somebody on them, I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Body they cars dangerous. Of body. It's like it, it's so safe. Yeah, my best buddy. And now the scooters are everywhere. Do you have the scooters? It got to be even. Well, I mean, in some instances, in Key West, the aforementioned, in San Francisco, yes, yeah. if you're going downtown, or you know, rent a scooter with your with your mates and and go, uh, you know, have some fun. Uh, but no, not as a rule. I I couldn't ride ride one all the time. But as no. a tourist, maybe. Yeah. You know. They're all over the place here. They are all over the place. Thrown around, just like discarded like old socks. Wait, you're talking about the uh, the stand up scooters that are yeah, that are kind of electric. I think one of them was called a bird. Bird. Maybe. We got bird in um, Arkansas as well, and, and and they were all over the place for a yeah. for about a half a year, and then they disappeared as mysteriously as they arrived. Exactly, <laughs> they were on every street corner. They're still going on here. I think it's. I think there's a new one now. It's green. Okay. Uh, it's got a different name on it, but there was one right in front of my house. I just wanted to kick it. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm living in Conway, Arkansas, which is a college town, and I could see some uh-huh. use for it. And then in Russellville, oh, yeah. Arkansas, another college town, I could see some use for it there. The kids need to get around. Maybe they don't have a car. But uh, are you in a college town as well? Uh, there's several colleges around. I, I, it's not really a college town. It's kind of like a commuter college town. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what that means. What's the distinction? I guess the, I mean, the area in Cincinnati, uh, around the university would probably be the college town part of Cincinnati. Oh. I did live there for several years. And it was a great street called Ludlow. Right. Oh yeah. What, what, uh, what college did you go to? Uh, I went to Northern Kentucky. Northern uh, Kentucky. Yeah. What's the uh, mm-hmm. What's the mascot? Uh, the Norsemen. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> they have a basketball team of uh, the Viking Norsemen. Yeah. Okay. Do you play any sports? Very. No. 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 <laughs> the only sport I'm really into is RuPaul's Drag Race. What? <laughs> oh, RuPaul's Drag ah, <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, wah, love RuPaul. Wah. No, no, RuPaul's no problem. Love him, man. I got one thing to say. You better work. I love uh-huh. it. I'll play that Can song. Can I get an amen? Yeah, anytime I want to be happy, man, I'll, I'll play that song. He's like a guru. He oh. is like a guru. For sure, for sure. He's, and he's become a mascot, so to speak, you know? Uh uh, he, I, he can, okay, uh, maybe I'm not as PC as I should be, but I liken him to you know Jesse Jackson is the spokesman for all the, oh, yeah. all the African American, the black people, and then you got RuPaul, he's the spokesman Talk for about. all the trans and the and the gays. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he's 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 your uh, your Messiah, <laughs> so to speak. I saw Jesse Jackson just within the last year. What he was walking through? He came to town. Um, I, I think there was some problem or some kind of issue with a company in town and some of their policies and he was here to sort of ambassador that or something and he he came to the inquirer building and i was getting off the elevator and literally walked right by him and i was like oh, that was just Jackson. oh for sure for sure <laughs> that would like, be I, my exact uh, reaction i felt <gasps> like i had i it was like seeing uh uh just like seeing RuPaul. It was unbelievable. It was un- <laughs> like, it was like seeing Elton RuPaul. John. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, these people just walk by you and you're like, ooh, okay. And just, yeah, just surrounded by all these people. And I thought, wow, what's going on? And I looked yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, what what white cop shot, shot what uh, black person where? You know? Because yeah. it seems like every time that happens, and I hate to say that I have to say every time that happens, because it shouldn't have happened once. You know, no. but uh, they always call Jesse Jackson. Why? Why? Because he is like a, a pillar in, the, in our community. Believe it. He for people's rights. And yeah. <coughs> I mean, he, he walked with Martin, right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Why not oh, call him? No. And he's still doing the job, man. That's good. That's yeah, great. It was man. amazing. It was amazing to see him just as briefly as I did. Yeah. I mean, this guy. Like, been... Wow, he's real. It's not... <laughs> so, I mean, is he as good as as everyone thinks he is? Or, 
I mean, is is he a good dude? Because I want to believe he is. I I do too. I definitely got a uh, you know a tingle just yeah. being that close to somebody like that. So excellent, excellent. There's yeah. some energy coming off of him, and I think it still felt good. Yes. That's what I wanted to hear. You know, you you, you worry if you should you meet meet your heroes or, or meet the people, you know, and you have this caricature of them and and this public persona of them, and you hope that when you actually meet them, hey, they're going to be everything that you hoped they would be. And I'm glad you got he, that feeling out of them. Yeah, a very powerful presence and cool. All right, shocking. <laughs> All right, anyway. still, still talking with J.D. Pike, uh, the, the Hellblinger, the John Helbling. He's got, he's got a, a, a few personas, a, a few noms de plume. <laughs> <laughs> and, and apparently he's, uh, Excuse me. He, he's a, uh, a, 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 what is it, a, one of those uh, 1930s cartoon criminals that'll tie, uh, yeah. tie the girl to the, uh, to the train tracks. Yeah. Watch out, Polly Prince. I used Polly to play Prince. that game all by myself on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go back to the farm. Could, uh, were you milking cows? I could out and some old skirt, and I would lay myself down on some train tracks, and then <laughs> yeah, I'd forget, take all that off. Yeah, forget time, Polly Prince. There. You were Polly Princess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I'd be the evil guy. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Two and one. Yeah, I think I saw that guy at the uh, at the circus where half of him was was a uh, it was shim, it was half girl and half boy. <laughs> if only I had thought of that when I was like five or six, whenever I was doing this stuff. The man was playing with shim self. <laughs> okay, so uh, all right, let's go back to the farm. I, I'm having okay. I'm having a blast with you. Let's go back to the farm. Oh, what kind of animals you have have on that farm? You had cows. Uh, we had cows, yeah. and then there were uh, that business kind of went under. After oh, okay. So it really, was a business. It was a fully functional working farm. Oh yeah, yeah. My, and this is what your parents dad, were doing for for money. Yeah, he was. He also had a job. Like I think he worked construction at that time. Okay, hustling a little bit, making ends. So he would, you know, he would get up and milk the cows, go to work, come back home, milk the cows have dinner go to bed it was a lot of work <laughs> okay and what was so, mom doing at the at the time um she was staying at home at that point but then she went back to work in 1980 okay she she was not a driver until she was 50 years old all right well that's and that's a good man that's a good man he kept the the, the lady at home that, that yeah. was good because it's good for the kids yeah, I, I believe maybe it's old fashioned. I hope it's not. I hope it's still in fashion. I believe that the kids need to have at least one of the parents at home. Yeah, it's nice if that's possible. It's just with yeah. death or whatever we're dealing with right. nowadays. Well, it looks like dad was was working hard to you know two oh, jobs yeah. at least to to, to provide for the family. And then he had a side gig on that. You know? What uh, he uh, was a. Excellent bluegrass mu- musician. You um, got to be kidding me! What yeah, did he play? Played in, uh, he played in a band. Um, gosh, uh, several bands all through my, you know, the seventies and eighties. Well, I think get, uh, in Kentucky it comes with the blood, right? You, you got to oh, be yeah. in a bluegrass band. <laughs> what is that? You got to have a fiddle in the band. That is correct. No, that's <laughs> Texas, sir. That's Texas. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I grew up with that sort of you know outdoorsy farming and entertainment, and my whole family you know would gather around and come so you, over and listen to them got, rehearse and stuff. So you got to see your dad play. That's great. Yeah, yeah. And what was he playing? He uh, the fiddle. Fiddle. Okay, yeah. so he was the fiddle in the band. He was the fiddle in the band. That's cool in the gang, man. And yeah. did you do you pick up any instruments yourself? You know, I never did. I tried to learn the violin, and uh, it just was not working out for me. It's called a fiddle, son. <laughs> it's called a fiddle, depending on a what fiddle. band you're in. <laughs> if you're in Kentucky, if you're south of the Mason-Dixon, the aforementioned, yeah. it's a fiddle. <laughs> I was not a fiddler born to be. All right, all right. <laughs> so, so no instruments for you. Uh, any uh, yeah. any dancing? Any any no sports? Oh. 
Anything else that you were doing uh, in school? I did some plays in um, uh, the Maysville Players. Yeah. What There's was an this? old opera. Uh, I think I got into that in 86. Oh, okay. As high <laughs> school was ending. Okay. My best friend, Millicent, uh, was like, let's go do this. And I was like, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> and she was like, come on. So, you know, I did it. And uh, I was uh, one of the little, like, uh, they call them CBs. Hey, ev- like the everyone needs workers. a Millicent, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody to and, drag them to places. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're not a Millicent, get one. <laughs> Millicent is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that could be a whole show. No, but, get um, you out of your comfort, comfort zone, man. That, <laughs> exactly, that sounds like the type yeah, of friend that was. She's done that for me for 30 years now. Yeah. My best buddy, John, man, I was his Millicent. You know, he yeah. was always, I don't know. I don't know. But then we kind of pushed each other. Cause, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe he wanted to go to the pink Floyd concert and I didn't want to go. And maybe I yeah. wanted to go ride, uh, uh, three wheelers in the, in the Everglades and he didn't want to go. No, I'm pulling him. He's pulling me. So be each other. That's, a good, that's a good friend. <laughs> like that. <laughs> be your own Millicent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe that's the name of this podcast. <laughs> She would love that. Oh, J.D. Pike, man. In the house, John Helbling. Ah, so, see, I never know where these are going to go, man. You, I love you, it. You're in the law. You've you've done some, uh, some uh, uh, tourism in small town Kentucky. <laughs> traveled a little bit. Traveled. Yeah, England. We didn't even talk about England. You, okay. All right. I know oh, we're gonna, you, you might start crying on this one. I'm, I might start crying. This is your last summer with uh, with your mom in England. Oh, tell me the yeah, story. Yeah, it was it was really uh, sudden. Uh, I got back from that trip, and uh, within a week, she was had died. Wow! And what? she um, she was diabetic. Oh. Um, probably since around the time she gave birth to me. Yeah. Um and from complications and just years of that, um, it sort of led to what ended her life. And I just recently found out I'm diabetic. Oh no. So, uh, I've changed my entire way of eating and I've managed to keep that number that they talk about under seven. Yeah. Uh, um, just, uh, type one, type two. What, the, the, so I, I recently heard something about the, what, what, what type are you? I am type two, uh, which means I can still make insulin. Okay. So I'm not. I still kind of, I'm still not totally clear on everything. I need to meet with my nurse, but <laughs> my education. Yeah, that specialist. would be good, John. I want you to live a long um, life, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, I, I cut out meat. Uh, I'm like eighty percent vegetarian now. I just, and my numbers went way, way down. Excellent. Uh, stopped eating a lot of carbs. Uh, yeah. I ate a lot of cauliflower rice, which is delicious. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. If you may, you know, mix it right. So I'm getting real creative in the kitchen and just uh, having, you know, I actually having fun experimenting with, you know, food. Yeah. That's yeah. healthy and it tastes good. And food can be good, man. You know, I, I, yeah. I get food. To, so, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, her death happened. Uh, yeah. I was just totally in shock. And uh, my dad, <clears throat> and I hadn't pre-registered for classes that fall or I missed the date or something. And I had to go there and register while she was on um, a life support system. Just really pushing myself to get through that, and yeah, <clears throat> it was. It ended up with me kind of having a breakdown. Yeah, I believe that, John. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that would happen. I kept uh, I kept way too much in for way too long, and so learned okay. not to do that again. She passes in August uh, <clears throat> of eighty seven, right? Is that was said. Um, nineteen ninety two. Ninety two. Ni- okay, ninety two. Yeah. You're out of school. You're out of college. Okay, she's raised you. That's great. You know, 
And then, and then what, man? And and so, how long did you hold it in? Uh, what? I'm sorry. Okay, she passed in in August of '92, and you said you held it in. You you you, oh, you just let it yeah. go. I uh, it didn't really. I managed to go back to college full time. Then I started flunking out all the ships. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, wasn't doing well. And on my birthday of that year, I is when I finally cried. Yeah. It was like three months later, I held it in. And, you know, I think it was because my dad was like, your mom really wanted you to finish school, you know, go back. And I just had that be strong, be strong mentality. And it you just can't do that. Well, and, th- there's two schools, I guess. You you did it for mom. You, 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 you fought yeah. through. You went to school. You graduated, you got your degree, and oh, yeah. and, and yeah. this is the design. Yeah, yeah. And and you used that a little bit, so hey, you made your mom proud, man. That's good. Yeah, I did. That's I did. great. I, I did a portrait of her in my uh, senior show, and it was a memory drawing, actually, uh, where we had to draw a, a memory, and I drew the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try to hold it together. I drew uh, the memory of her hugging me goodbye before oh, I went to London. <laughs> Sweetness, yeah. Sweetness. You still have so, the drawing? Oh yeah, it's 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 in my bedroom. Yes, it is. So, yeah, man. That, and you keep her alive. That's great, man. Oh, I have a collection of little figurine bunnies that she had. Yeah. So she's all around me. Yes, she is. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. You're a uh, a notary public too? No, no. <laughs> I don't. Man, what what is this over here? I'm looking at John Helbling, and that's, oh, you're probably yeah, could be my cousin. <laughs> no, that's you. That's a picture of you with the with the glasses and the little beard. What am I doing? I don't know. It says uh, John Helbling, notary public in Livonia, Michigan. Weird. I don't oh, know why. That's not me. Yeah, that picture. That's not me. I don't know why they combined it with you. Man, <sighs> I know. You're talking about your Someone's mom. Someone's stolen my identity. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're, you're talking about your mom, and, and things are getting sad here and trying to lighten things up. But, man, yeah, I, thank I, you. I, I, feel, I feel bad. I feel bad that you lost your mom, uh, you know, at that young age. I mean, it, it, you know, yes, you were an adult, and but it's never easy to lose your mom. It never is, no. man. Never. No, I, never. I don't care if they lived to 110. You know, it's, oh, yeah, it was so sudden. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's not long enough. No, it's, it's never long, long enough, enough, man. Ever. But uh, yeah, you went through that, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good cry and and all that and and that. Thank you. Hey, you got through and and you got through to college and uh, and now you're a, a fully grown man of the community. Uh, yeah, I'm a 50 year old adolescent. Basically. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> never grow up, man. Never grow up. <laughs> Be a well, Toys R Us kid. Ah, oh, Toys R Us. More sadness. Can't, oh, no. <laughs> I kind of got to get off the phone, though, uh, for now. Okay. But I would love to talk again. Nah, we could chit-chat forever and ever, man. So tell the people awesome. how to get a hold of you if, if you want them to get a hold of you. Uh, I am on Instagram at hellblinging. Yes. Uh, under the mysterious name of J.D. Pike. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Vastra. And that's kind of an, uh, that's kind of an, um, you know uh, where I grew up. I always liked that Key Pike was kind of a cool street. All right then, man. Well, it's been it's good cool. talking to you, JD Thank Pike, you so much. John you so Helbling, much. and uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm figuring uh, y- your man sitting there going, "Hey, uh, it's me time now." <laughs> Is Maybe that what's a happening? A little bit. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Enjoy your family. I appreciate the, right. I appreciate you chit chatting with me. I'll send you the links as soon as I put it up. Bye for now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm on a pod. <laughs> Well, there you have it, party people. I, you never know where these things are going to go. I love it. I had a great conversation with John Helbling, J.D. Pike, Helblinging on Instagram. Find him. He's a good follow. He's a fun follow, man. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of interesting pictures on that uh 
on that site on Instagram. It seems like that's the place that he wants you to go if you want to connect with him. So, John Helbling, thank you so much for being on the What Makes You Famous podcast and chit-chatting with me. I had a good time getting to know you, and I hope you didn't get in too much uh, trouble with your man. <laughs> he, he loves you, man. He loves you. <laughs> and uh, ever forward man love is a wonderful thing i hope that everything is going very very well for you and yours thank you so much for taking your time out and uh spending it with us here at the what makes you famous podcast that's it for this edition of what makes you famous if you want to tell your story i encourage you to do so at 501-470-6386 or email info at radio what.com that's it for me <laughs> stay tuned for more it's keys dan radio what.com dj little rock.com peace i'm out of here radio what the music you want hey guys this is shelly g with a fast fact the first animal in space was the female Samoyan husky named Leica, launched by the Soviets in 1957. Do you have a fast fact? Share it with us at Interactive Radio, RadioWhat.com. Be on Radio What? Call 501-470-6386. Say your name, where you're from, and you're listening to What? The music you want is on Radio What? dot com.